guys, welcome to Causeway Life. I'm Air Bear, and today we're finally going over step five. Step five, right? That's right. Step five of the armor making process. It has been a long time since you last saw me. Uh, but we're back on track. In this step, we are going to be priming the armor which is getting it ready to paint and kind of like making it smooth so that the paint doesn't get absorbed into the foam because that's a big thing that can happen with foam and also painting it and weathering it i kind of did a couple of extra things that don't necessarily need to be done um kind of to show well I would say it's to show you different ways that things can be done, but really it was just me trying to figure it out. So you can spray paint it or um, hand paint it. I actually did both. I spray painted it first and then I went back and hand painted it. Ordinarily, I would just choose one, but a perk of spray painting it is that it's faster, easier, and you don't have brush strokes. And a perk of hand painting it is that if you have a piece that kind of got chipped like I do here. I don't know if you can see that. You can repaint it easily because you just have to match, you just have to find the bottle of acrylic that you used before. But if I had just spray painted this, I would have to respray paint this whole thing over again if that little piece was messed up. So that's one of the perks of hand painting. So you'll see me priming, you'll see me painting two different ways. And you will also see me weathering in this step which is kind of making it dirty and making it look more real and giving it some more dimension. Do I also uh, seal it? Very quickly, but yeah. Okay, I'm also gonna seal it in this step as well. Look, it's been like a minute since I've done these. Yeah. And so having to get back into it. Anywho, look at how dark it is getting, like the sun has set. So I'm going to go ahead and get on with the show. So the materials that you'll need for this part are Plasti Dip, Respirator, Spray Paint, Water, a short bristle brush or paint brushes, Paint Mixing Plate, Candy, Paints for Weathering. I use Real Brown, Teddy Bear Brown, Crimson Red, Linen, and Golden Hour, which was a flexible paint. All of these are plaid brand if you're looking for them. Ooh, ah. Satin clear coat. And your gauntlets. First, I need to make sure the foam is clean after all of that dremeling. I am brushing all the dremel dust off. Once you think you have gotten all the dremel bits, then you are ready to prime the foam with Plasti Dip. Remember your safety gear. Hold the can eight to 10 inches away and go back and forth. Be sure to get all the edges. You will need two to four coats depending on how thick your coats are. Now, gold spray paint. Sorry about the video. I was holding the camera and trying to spray paint at the same time. Spoiler alert, it's not a good plan. Look, you can't see any of this. Well, what you would see is me doing short bursts of spray. <sighs> At least the sky is pretty. Just like Plasti Dipping, make sure to get all the edges. Once you are satisfied, you are ready to weather. I was going for a rust color, so I am using a mixture of Teddy Bear Brown and Crimson Red. Just get it in the crevices. I like to imagine if I owned this armor and I was trying to clean it, where would I not be able to reach? After I apply a bit of paint, I take a paper towel and wipe away the excess before it can dry. That adds to the worn rust look. So at this point, I have done about half and hopefully you can see the difference between the rusty top half and the shiny bottom half. 
I continue with the rest of the gauntlet with the same technique. I am ready to move from the main section of the gauntlet to the lines on the top. So in order to get the brown in the line, I'm watering it down to go into the crack. I use the same paint and paper towel technique on the lines. Now, I'm going slightly darker with real brown and going closer to the edges. Once I finished, I realized that I weathered it too much. Yeah, that happens sometimes. So I went back and added more gold on the high parts. Lastly, I use linen in some places to look like shine. I put on the last of the highlights, but it may have been a little too much. <sighs> Weathering can be hard. All right. Once I was satisfied, or at least done with weathering. The last thing I did in this step was to seal it with a satin clear coat. I had Lovebug help me film this time. That's why you can see what's happening. Yay! I used the same short burst technique I used when I was priming and spray painting. Then I took them inside to dry. So that about does it for the step five painting and weathering and all of that jazz step of the armor making process. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions about anything that you saw in this video, leave that in the comment section below. Um, if you like this channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. That way you don't have to wait around until I put up another video. You could just get a notification when another video comes out. So make sure you click the notification bell so you can get a notification. Uh, other than that, I will catch you all next time when I will be adding on straps and just finishing up the rest of it, which was an ordeal. It's not that difficult. It's just that it just, just stay tuned. You'll see, you'll see. Other than that guys, I will catch you all next time. Bye. Deuces.